previous video, we came across the format to find the solutions using Laplace transform method. Now, let's learn how to find the Laplace of unit step function so that you can apply it in your problems. So, unit step function, it is also known as heavy size unit function, which is represented by u of t minus a or h of t minus a. Uh, and the function is given by 0 for values of t less than a and 1 for values of t greater than or equal to a. So this is a sample graph where you it clearly determines that for 0 to a it is 0 and for a values of t greater than or equal to a it's 1. So let's try to find what is its Laplace transform. We know that the general formula is 0 to a to the power of minus st into u t minus a into dt. Now 0 to a is 0 and values for um, t greater than or equal to a it's 1. So let's divide the limits like 0 to a e to the power of minus st into 0 dt plus a to infinity e to the power of minus st into 1 into dt. On integrating this you get e to the power of minus st by minus s on the limits a to infinity. So the Laplace transform of unit step function u of t minus a is given by e to the power of minus a s by s. Let's learn the second shifting theorem. Laplace transform of f of t minus a into unit step function of t minus a is equal to e to the power of minus a s into Laplace transform of f of uh, t. So you have t minus a. This a is taken outside as it is shifting the values. So you get it outside by giving it a value as e to the power of minus a s. Now similarly, inverse Laplace transform of e to the power of minus a s, f of s is, is equal to f of t minus a into u of t minus a. So the representation of piecewise defined functions in a, a single function is, this is how you do it. Say for example, you have limits like for uh, values of x which range from a to b, you have some function g1 of x. And for values of x which range from b to c, you have some function g2 of x. And for values of uh, x from c to d, you have some function like g3 of x. Now this one can be applied, I mean, from this you can derive a function it into a single function, like f of x is equal to the function g1 of x into unit step function of x minus a minus unit step function of x minus b plus g2 of x into unit step function of x minus b minus used to unit step function of x minus c plus g3 of x into unit step function of x minus c minus unit step function of x minus d. So this is your single function which you derive from the above functions which are in the form of uh, functions for different limits. Let's solve this question. Solve y double dash plus 3y dash plus 2y is equal to g of t. And so the function is g of t is 1 when t ranges from 0 to 1. And 0 for all the values of t where, where 1 is less than or uh, equal to t. So y of 0 is equal to 0 and y dash of 0 is equal to 1. And you have the function. So the function is given here 1 for 0 to 1 and for 0 for values greater than or equal to 1. So you have to convert this into a single function which is given by 1 into unit step function of t minus 0 minus unit step function of t minus 1 plus 0 into unit step function of t minus 1. Now the final function is unit step function of t minus unit step function of t minus 1. Now substituting this in the above given question y double dash plus t y dash plus 2y is equal to unit step function of t minus unit step function of t minus 1. Applying Laplace y l into y double dash Laplace trans Laplace transform of y double dash plus 3 into Laplace transform of y dash plus 2 into Laplace transform of y which is equal to Laplace transform of u of t minus l into Laplace transform of u, uh, u, u of t minus 1. So Laplace transform of uh, this uh, second derivative is given by a square Laplace transform of y minus s into uh, y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 3 into Laplace transform s into Laplace transform of y minus y of 0 plus 2 into Laplace transform of y which is e given by you know that the Laplace transform is given by e to the power of minus a s by yes. So uh, here it is uh, your value of a is 0. So e to the power of 0 by s minus e to the power of my, uh, here the value is um, 
1 so e to the power of minus a yes so e to the power of minus 1 yes by yes on taking all the terms with Laplace transform of y as come uh, towards one side then having minus 1 we get that s square plus 3s plus 2 is into Laplace transform of y minus 1 is equal to 1 by s minus e to the power of minus s by s now simplifying this we get s plus 1 into s plus 2 into Laplace transform of y is equal to you take y to 1 to the other side so you have 1 by s plus 1 minus e to the power of minus s by s so dividing these terms with um, s plus 1 and, uh, into s plus 2 you get Laplace transform of y is 1 by s into s plus 1 minus e to the power of minus s by s into s plus 1 into s now on applying partial fractions and simplifying you get 1 by 2 into 1 by s minus 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 minus e to the power of minus s into 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2. So when you take Laplace inverse you get 1 by 2 because Laplace inverse of 1 by s is 1 e to the power of minus t by 2 minus minus unit step function of t minus 1 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus t minus 1 minus into minus 2 into t minus 1. You'll be wondering how the, how you got this because this is kind of a clumsy process because you you have to be very cautious about your a values. And so you have the following steps here 1 by 2 into you have 1 by s. So when you, you are just applying uh, Laplace transform here. Next you have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into so s, s plus a is given by e to the power of minus t. So it is 1 by 2 e to the power of minus t minus unit step function of t minus 1. Why do you have t minus 1? You have minus 1. You have 1 here e to the power of minus s. So the value of a is 1. So unit step function of t minus 1. So in all your functions inside you will have minus 1 with your t. So 1 by 2 into f1 of t minus 1 plus 1 by 2 into f2 of t minus 1 minus f3 of t minus 1. So in all these three terms you will have t minus 1. So that is what he is representing from here. In the next step you try to resolve it and write it neatly like uh, t, uh, 1 by 2 into e to the power of minus t minus 1 because you have s plus 1 which can be written as e to the power of minus t since you have t minus 1 you have to write t minus 1 in the place of t and similarly in the place of um, s, s plus 2 will be written as e to the power of minus t minus 2t so in the place of t you'll be writing t minus 1 so your final different uh, solution for the differential equation is this using uh, the Laplace transform method here you have a few exam uh, exercise questions which you can practice for better understanding and uh, learning purpose. Thank you.